Good evening everyone, this is Matt here from Sneakers Corner. In February 2020, I went to Kiev in the Ukraine, of course never expecting what was going to happen exactly two years later. But in any case, I went to St. Sophia's Cathedral, set out outside of the park and discussed Abdel al-Malik's tribute to the Byzantines and other matters. Hope you like the video. Here it is. Kiev at the minute. I just wanted to come back on one of the points in our discussion with Jay, which is the difference between monophysite and miaphysite. And uh, I kind of uh, put everything under the group title of monophysite. Of course, uh, many of the Christians there would go by the title uh, miaphysite, which is the idea of uh, two separate natures united rather than there being just one nature. So that's an important distinction. Um, I'd like to show you where I am. I'm in Kiev and I'll just show you the the cathedral behind me, which is uh, St. Sophia's Cathedral. St. Sophia's Cathedral. Uh, it was finished in 1018. It's a very significant cathedral in Ukraine. Um, over a thousand years old. And uh, Prince Yaroslav was the founder of it, and this is where Rus got baptized, and that was the beginning of the state of, of Rus, or Russia, as it later became known as. So a very significant place. And uh, just coming back here, I also wanted to refer also to the idea that the Byzantines had an involvement in setting up um, a freed up land in uh, Palestinia as it was called and Arabia and so on and uh, is there any evidence to suggest that not only did they want to set up the people there as allies but independent from the Byzantines and also that they didn't want the Muslims to be the rulers well Here's some evidence from an 8th century bishop, which is found in Robert Hoyland's book, um, Islam as Others See, See It. And uh, this is from paragraph, paragraph even, 647. And it's a quote from the 8th century bishop. Embattled on all fronts, Abdul al Malik sought peace with Byzantium. Constantine agreed to a 10 year truce on the condition that the Caliph would pay 1,000 gold pieces a horse and a slave daily to the emperor. The tribute of Cyprus, Armenia and Iberia was to be shared by both sides and the emperor was to recall the Mardates from Lebanon. Now does that sound to you like the Byzantines were in a weak position? If Abdul al-Malik had to pay a tribute to the Byzantines, surely that would indicate that the Byzantines could easily have conquered those lands back again if they wanted to, but they chose not to. But there's a very brief mention of the emperor was to recall the Mar dates from Lebanon. Now, Chase Robinson is the author of a book where I've got this quotation from, and he gives the following explanation, which is quite interesting, and it supports the thesis that the Byzantines were interested in creating an independent independent state there, but they wanted the monophysites, or shall we better say the, the Mayaphysites, running the show. Abdul al-Malik's position for much of the 680s was precarious. For one thing he had to address a Byzantine threat. This took two forms. The first was active campaigning along the northern frontier, parts of northern Syria, which had been under Muslim control since the conquests of the 640s were briefly occupied by Byzantine armies. The second was Byzantine support for their proxies, the Mardates, the Mardates, I'll explain who they are in a moment, border inhabitants, who were sent by the Emperor Just Justinian II against Abdel al-Malik in 688 to 689. So the, the Byzantines had used their proxies, the Mardates, against Abdel al-Malik. So this is obviously the group that they favoured in terms of running the place. 
The result was a treaty between Abd al-Malik and the Byzantine Emperor, and although the precise date and terms of this treaty are difficult to pin down, our bishop gives one of several available versions. There is little question that they were ignominious Abd al-Malik. So there you have it. So who are these Mardates? Well, the Mardates are actually um, Mayaphysite Christians, or Monophysite, but probably they were moderate um, Christians. So it's a kind of a complex situation. They, they were pushing them off, but they wanted to keep an alliance with them. They certainly didn't want Islam to be ruling in that area because that was not what they had hoped for. They wanted a stable, independent region that they wouldn't have to have any further responsibility for. So that's it. I'm going to carry on enjoying my stay here in Kiev. Talk to you soon.